for the July Get Fit with Six Challenge, we're gonna be using kettlebells and you can find these in different weights or don't use a weight if you don't wanna do that. But we're at Back to Basics Personal Training once again with Amy and she has three exercises for us this month to do and these are kind of quick exercises you can do at home. Yes, and they're very simple and easy to do. I'm trying to make them, you know, so you're able to do them without any problems. So we've got three exercises, kettlebell switches around the waist, kettlebell through the legs with a squat involved, and then a kettlebell opposite knee to your elbow. So we're gonna get started Let's with the do it. first exercise. Okay, all right, so the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna stand about shorter width apart with your feet. Your arms are gonna be straight in front of you at first, and your shoulders are back, chest is up. You're gonna take that kettlebell around your back and to the front, keeping the arms straight, keeping your core nice and tight, which means your stomach and your chest up. And I don't want you raising the kettlebell, but I want you to keep it low to your body and making sure that you're really engaging that core and keeping your glutes tight too. Okay, and then you're gonna switch to the other side. So you ready to go to the other side? Keep it nice and tight. And where are you feeling this, Kim? Everywhere, my core, my quads. Mm -hmm. Um, my lower back a little bit. And your glutes and, and probably glutes. your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Kim, we're gonna go to number two, which is gonna be a squat and the kettlebell through your legs. So you're gonna go a little wider with your stance. Your glutes are gonna go back behind you, which is your butt. You're gonna come down, squat, switch to the next hand. So you're gonna make it like an eight. And every time that you bring it to the front of your body, you're gonna stand straight up Ooh. and squat back down. That burns. You're gonna feel that in your quads, your glutes, and your core, and shoulders. Again, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can just do the motions, or you can get like a thermos or a water bottle that you can just pass through your legs. So number three is gonna be the kettlebell opposite knee to elbow. So we're gonna bring our feet back together, shoulder width apart. You're gonna hold your kettlebell like so. You're gonna take your opposite elbow to your leg, opposite leg, and then back. Opposite, opposite. Really squeezing into the side of your abs, which are your obliques. And that you will feel just about everywhere. Because we're going a little bit of shoulders in this also. I know you're feeling that. Oh yeah. All right, three exercises. Using a kettlebell, again, you don't have to use a kettlebell if you don't want to put weight into it. Don't use a weight, maybe use something with a handle, but all of these exercises, Amy, concentrating on our core, our quads, yep. our glutes. Yep, you felt it, right? I felt it uh -huh. everywhere. Even after a long workout, you already had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these are exercises you can do at home. It doesn't take very long to do it. Uh, thanks, Amy, for another great workout. You're welcome, and always. And I hope you enjoy the July Get Fit With Six Challenge. All right, so the increments for the exercises are going to change every day. And to follow along, just look for this story on WECT.com or the Get Fit With Six tab on your WECT News app. We're back with more news and weather in just a couple minutes. Up to the minute on what's happening now when you're